I have watched so many videos about tire pressures, but I've never come across one that actually talks about the things that I'm interested in. All these videos are always about fuel economy, road noise. After my track day, I'm quite conscious of the fact that even a small change in tire pressures makes a big difference to how the car feels. So I started thinking, could we apply this to normal road driving and by extension spirited driving on the road too. This video is largely gonna be about subjective impressions and how the car feels to me and my thoughts on that. We're doing all this testing in my 2021 Megan RS300. What I've done to try and make it as fair as possible is all the testing is done on a square setup. So all four tires are the same tire pressure. But as long as I've had the car, I've always preferred having a square setup anyway, just because the slightly higher pressures in the rear wheels make the rear a little bit more playful, as you can tell in this clip. Oh, Oops. Gas, gas, gas. <laughs> so we're gonna test three tire pressures. We're gonna test as close as I can get to the manufacturer's recommended tire pressures, which is 33 PSI. So we're gonna do a 33 square. Then we're gonna go higher and we're gonna do 40, and we're gonna see what that difference feels like in the steering. And then we're gonna go the same way lower, so we'll do 25 PSI. Make sure you stick around until the end of the video because I do have some interesting results at the end of this, and it's kind of not what I expected it would be. Uh, so make sure you watch the conclusion at the end. I'm also gonna do a little bit of fuel economy testing. The way I'm gonna do this is by driving up and down the same stretch of the motorway three times on each of the tire pressures. I'm gonna try and keep as close, constant 70 miles an hour as I can. Hopefully those tests are accurate. Let's get out on the road and find out how much of a difference tire pressures make to how the car feels. So the very first tire pressure we're testing out is actually 40 PSI. I mean, in normal driving, it actually feels pretty good feels pretty positive, pretty solid. I kind of like it. I do notice potentially the ride is a little bit busier. What I didn't expect is I feel like there's a touch more road noise. I thought there would be less road noise as you go up the PSI. That made sense to me conceptually, but I don't think that's the case. Let's get it onto a lovely little country lane. And let's see how this 40 PSI performs. I actually really like the way the steering feels. It feels really positive. It actually feels quite good. I didn't expect this. I thought the 40 PSI would feel really stiff and horrible, but it feels good. It feels nice. Surprisingly nice. Okay, so now 25 PSI normal driving. Well, I've noticed the steering is a lot heavier. I don't know, the car feels heavier, it feels big, it feels lumbering. I have noticed though that the ride has really improved. The ride feels good. Um, it feels really comfortable and it irons out a lot of the bumps, but at the same time, it kind of feels a bit, I don't know, it feels wrong, you know? <laughs> it doesn't feel like this is the pressure it should be at. Yeah, it feels like this pressure is definitely wrong. <laughs> Even though it does feel kind of nice and comfortable. And it's kind of something that I'm not really used to with this car. I have also noticed that I feel like there's less road noise. It seems really quiet, which is actually kind of nice. So I'm liking this 25 PSI. It feels good. It feels genuinely good. Hmm. Let's get it out onto some faster roads and see how it does there. 60 mile an hour here, let's go. So far it feels good. Let's throw it into this corner. Okay. <laughs> we'll throw it into a corner here. Yeah, you feel it rolling onto that sidewall. <laughs> well, I don't really like the way that feels. And coming into this, I actually thought the 25 might be my favorite because I like to be different. Uh, so I had a feeling that might be my favorite, but it's not, it's not, it doesn't feel great. You feel the squish in the tires. You feel the, the roll. When you turn into a corner, the tire rolls onto the sidewall. 
I actually think that potentially you have more grip with 25 PSI. I think maybe on a track you would be faster because it feels like you can lean into the tire more and extract more grip. But in terms of the way it feels, it doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel nice, it doesn't feel enjoyable. So I'm doing the 33 PSI, the standard PSI last. And I'm actually quite surprised. The 33 PSI feels very close to the 25, a lot more than it does to the 40. The 40 felt quite different. It felt quite stiff. It felt quite almost rattly. Um, but the 33 feels very similar to the 25. It feels quite soft. It feels quite, quite forgiving. And it doesn't have that edge of uneasiness that the 25 had. So I think for daily driving, would you have guessed it, the manufacturer's recommendation is the correct PSI. I didn't expect to find that. I thought I'm much smarter than the manufacturer, <laughs> but that is the case. Right, let's get it out onto some spirited roads and let's see what it does. Oh yeah, that feels good. I mean, that feels how you'd expect the car to feel. That's what I'm used to. I normally run the manufacturer's recommended pressures. So this is kind of what I'm used to with this car. So it doesn't surprise me that I like the way it feels. Oh. <laughs> As with the daily driving or the normal driving um, testing, it feels closer to the 25 than it does to the 40. But the 33 is similar to the 25, apart from the fact that with 25, you're rolling onto that sidewalk. So for the fuel economy, I'm not gonna bore you guys with the footage because it's literally just me driving down a motorway. It's pretty boring. But you can see that the, the results are very marginal. Um, I think there's what, 0 0.8 MPG in between them. So basically one MPG. It does make a difference, potentially on a long run, it could make a bit of a difference, but it's quite small and it's less than I thought it would be. Okay, conclusions time. I think for daily driving, the 33 is my favorite. Standard pressure, I think that's the one that feels good. But I actually think for spirited driving on the road, the 40 PSI feels the best. It has the most positive steering. It has the best bite. It communicates the most information. That to me is really, really surprising because I'm, I guarantee you on a track, the 25 would be fastest and then the 33 would be very close behind and the 40 would have the least ultimate grip. But to me, the 40 feels the best. That's a huge surprise. I really didn't expect that. After all of that testing, I've actually gone back to the petrol station and I've set all my tires to 40 PSI. The reason for that is not only did it have the best steering response, and it just made the car feel more alive and more connected. It had the best fuel economy, fair enough it was marginal, but it did have the best fuel economy. And I just like the way it feels. And yes, there's a slight detriment in terms of you get a little bit more road noise, but the Megane's quite a quiet car, so I can live with a touch more road noise for all the other benefits. So yeah, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. I think if I was trying to keep up with people or if I was trying to like go fast on track, it would not be my choice and I would go for 25 or maybe 33. But for just spirited driving and enjoying the car, I love 40 PSI. So I think there's a lesson in that for everybody. Just experiment with your tire pressures. I'm sure certain cars are going to react very differently to having different setups of pressure. And this car seems to love a higher pressure. So yeah, definitely experiment and try a higher pressure. If you enjoy spirited driving and if you enjoy that two-way communication, try a higher pressure because it communicates more. You get more feedback. The steering is more positive. There's more there. So definitely try that. Have a go.